Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through training and educational resources. Today I have a quick tutorial on how to use the Rotate tool and Align tool in Revit. After you complete this video, you will be able to quickly rotate components and align components to other elements. To help you practice, I've included an exercise file that you will use to follow along with this video. You can now open How to Rotate and Align Exercise. It includes one exercise and two practice exercises. Okay, now that we're ready to go, let's zoom in to exercise one. We're going to rearrange furniture. I'm going to rotate so it's in the center of our screen here. You may know that if you click on a component, you can actually press the space bar to make it turn. You can also hit these little arrows, they're flip along arrows, and they will also turn. But this does not work necessarily for all items. For the sofa here, if I do that using the flip along arrows, it just flips it back and forth. Again, same thing with the space bar. So I actually need to use the rotate tool. You will find the rotate tool under modify. Now first, make sure you have selected your item you want to rotate. You will go up here to this little round circle. The shortcut is RO. You will click that and you'll see it has the axis in the middle in this line. You want to set your axis line, click once, start in the direction you want to rotate in, and then you can type 90, enter, and now your sofa will rotate 90 degrees. Then you may move it into position. Now if you want this sofa to align with this other one, all you have to do is go up to the bars here where it says AL is the shortcut, align. Click the item you want to align to first, then click the item to align. Okay, let's try this again. If I hit escape twice, I'm out of the command. I'm going to go down here to these chairs and I'm going to rotate them. This one, we will click, hit our rotate tool, select our axis, and we will start to rotate around. Now I actually want to rotate this 135 degrees. There we go. We have him rotated. I can move him around a little bit if I want use our arrows to move him into place and then we're going to do the same thing over here this time i'll use ro i have the axis i go straight up and down click once start moving in the direction i want to go and i'm going to hit 45 degrees there we go i now have that chair rotated how did you do are you ready to move on to practice one okay zoom over and or pan over i guess to practice one, we're going to look at a kitchen. Before we actually look at the floor plan though, I want you to go to the project browser and select kitchen 3D view under your 3D view. See right here? If we double click on that, we actually can see our kitchen. There he is. And we'll notice that there's quite a few things that are backwards that need to be rotated. This is a great way to be able to look at our design while we're still working in 2D. So if you had noticed, the stove was uh, stove range is backwards, so we're going to hit our space bar and I want to show you what happens. Notice that yes, the stove range rotates, however, it's now not no longer aligned to that back wall. So we're going to hit our align tool under modify. We're going to select the interior part of that wall and then select the back of the range and that will realign there. I can hit escape twice and I'll get out of the align tool. If you notice from the 3D, um, the space cabinet was also aligned incorrectly. This time we can use our flip alongs here, but again, we have the same problem, it's not aligned. So if we just hit AL for align, hit the interior wall, hit our back end of our base cabinet, and we are all set there. Hit escape twice. Now up here in this corner cabinet, we're going to select it and we're going to rotate this one. So here is our rotate. We have our axis point in the middle and I'm going to just click once and rotate at 180 degrees, typing in 180, enter. I'm all set now. Now let's look at this right here. We can actually flip this along using our flip alongs, but rather we're going to rotate it first. So rotate, turn to um, the left and we're gonna hit uh, 90 degrees, enter. We'll use our align tool, align to the interior wall, align to the side of the other case. We're also gonna continue using the align tool. At this point, we can don't have to do anything. We can continue using our tool inside of that wall, base cabinet, dishwasher, we move it over. Let's look at the 3D view a little bit. 
here we go. We can see that all the cabinets are starting to rotate. Oh, we still have this one incorrect. So let's rotate that one back. If we hit escape twice to get out of the align tool, we're going to rotate it, use our tool, and we're gonna go 180 degrees. There we go, 3D, there he is. We now have our base cabinet there rotated around. Looks like our refrigerator is also needs to be rotated, and so does this cabinet right here. So let's go over here this time. We are gonna hit our O for the shortcut, and I'm just going to turn it 180 degrees. Oh, we have an alignment problem, so if I hit AL for the shortcut, hit the interior wall, the back of the refrigerator, there we go. And one more thing, hit escape twice. I'm going to rotate this cabinet. Click, rotate 90, there we go. Hit our align, align to the side of the refrigerator, align to the interior wall, and let's look at the 3D view. There we go, we're all set. Looks like we have everything in our kitchen aligned. I've also included a table and chairs to allow you to work on your alignment and rotate. Additionally, you'll see that you have practice two here, which is a combination of some cabinetry, some a table and chair, sofa, chairs, a desk, and so forth. So that'll give you practice. If you want to have the answers of what it should look like, here we go, rotate your components. Here are the answers, and it indicates exactly how everything should be rotated. Now you can pause the video and continue practicing on your own. How did you do? Pretty easy, right? You now are an expert at rotating and aligning components. Congratulations. I hope you found this video helpful. GEI offers several training options to help designers learn Revit. Right now we have a special offer. Sign up through our website and get all six modified tool tutorials for free. Each video shows you how to use the modified tools, including how to trim corners, trim and extend, align elements, mirroring components, array, moving and copying. This is ideal for interior designers just getting started with Revit. Each video includes a practice exercise that will help you use the various tools in less than five minutes. To get this great offer, go to GA Interior Solutions slash Revit Tools to sign up today.